Now we are going to hear a story with words that start with A. A line here, a line here, and then a cross. That is the uppercase A. A circle and then a line down like this. That is lowercase a. It is the start of the A, B, C. Some words start with the letter A. R. Apple. Astronaut. Allosaurus. We are going to hear a story. Once upon a time, the astronaut had this allosaurus dinosaur, and the allosaurus turned into a spaceship. Apple A was sitting in. The spaceship. And then the astronaut went in the spaceship with still Apple A in it. Then Apple A made the picture of outer space. Went on the back seat. They went to Atlanta. The story about things that start with the letter B. To make uppercase B, you do one line down and then you do a small curve starting from the top and then you do a little bit bigger curve and going down to the bottom. And to make lowercase B, you do a line down and then at the bottom you do a circle. Some words that start with the letter B are beaver, <laughs> buffalo, bee. Okay now, here's our story. Once upon a time, there was a beaver named Beverly. She was brown and had a blue belly. And her best friend, Bob the Buffalo, was going to a birthday party together. Then they said, how do we get there? So. Then they come up with an idea. They both could ride in a bubble. And then they are riding in the bubble and they're about halfway there when the bubble bursts. And then the beaver says, our bubble bursts. We have to fix it in time to get to the birthday party. And then the buffalo says, I have a great idea. We can get to the birthday party by you climbing on me and I can run all the way there. Then they get to the birthday party and then they see a bunch of bees, balloons, a birthday cake, which is banana flavored, and then they see a banner that says, Happy Birthday, Belle the Bee. And then they say, wait, this is not the birthday party we have to go to. And then even though they're at the wrong birthday party, Belle the Bee realizes it and she says it's okay and they can stay and have cake. The end. Here's a story about the letter C. To make uppercase C, you start here and make a big curve like this. To make lowercase C, you start here and make a smaller curve like this. Some words that start with the letter C are camel, cat, crayons, cardboard. Okay, here's our story. One time, 
Carl the cute cat, who was creamy white and orange, and his best friend, Camilla the camel, were going to do a craft together, making colorful Christmas cards. So Carl was carrying the cardboard and crayons, but he was very clumsy. So he dropped them and all the crayons and cardboard got crammed into a corner, fell in the crack, and they couldn't get them out. And that's when Carl saw a castle outside the window. So they climbed to the castle to get more crayons and cardboard. When they were done coloring, they got super duper hungry. So they decided to celebrate their crafts with some cheese and crackers. The end. C. What C word did you find in the story? Here is a story about the letter D. To make uppercase D, you start here and make a line down. Then you start at the top and make a curve like this. To make lowercase d, go all the way around like this, then make a line that goes straight down. Some things that start with d are duck, dinosaur, donut. Okay, now here's our story. Once there was a duck. His name was Doey. He lived in a den. Doey loved desserts, especially donuts and danishes. One day, Doey the duck discovered a door in his den he'd never seen before. As he stepped through, the door closed behind him. He couldn't unlock it. It was very dark but he could see a dim light. When he found the light, he saw Dinosaur. She was wearing a dress and was digging in the dirt. Doey said, what are you doing? And the dinosaur said, oh hi, I'm Dorothy. I'm so hungry, I'm looking for dinner. Doey said, dinner's not down there. Then he gets an idea. But if you help me get back to my den, I will help you get some dinner. So they went back to the door. And Dorothy the dinosaur had an idea. We could use this diamond to drill through the door. And it worked. Back in the den, they had dinner. Then they had lots of donuts and danishes for dessert. Delicious. The end. D. What D words did you find in the story? Here's a story about the letter E. You make uppercase E like this. You make a straight line down. You make one line across on top. Make one line across on the middle. Make one line across on the bottom. And make a lowercase e like this. You make a line across. And make a loop all the way around to here. Some words that begin with e are elephant, elevator, the Empire State Building. Now here's our story. Once there was an elephant that was named Esther, who was exercising in an empty elevator. She did 11 flips. She used her phone to check her emails. She saw an email from her friend, Eli the Eagle. He's sending emails from the Empire State Building where he's working. There was an eclipse coming. It was gonna stop the electricity. He needed Esther's help. So Esther backflipped out of the elevator and eagerly bounced to the Empire State Building. She jumped from the Empire State Building all the way into space where she can see Earth. And then she did 11 million flips to make a bunch of electricity. Then she took back to the Empire State Building and charged all the phone and computers so everyone can get their emails. The end. E. What E words did you find in this story? Here's a story about the letter F. 
To make uppercase F, you make a straight line down. On top, you make a straight line across. And in the middle, you make another straight line. To make lowercase F, you make a big curve on top and just a straight line down. In the middle, you make a line across. Some words that begin with F are frog, flower, fly. Okay, here's our story. There's a frog named Mr. Franklin who had a fancy hat with a feather in it. He saw a fly and started chasing it. He found a fly in a forest. His name was Freddy. He said, Oh, Mr. Franklin, I want to be your friend. I'm going to try to make you laugh. And then he said, Fly, sky, makes a fly. Then he made a funny face. Hmm, you'll never make me laugh. Then Freddy flipped over four times and pulled out a magic flower. He was going to use the magic flower to make Mr. Franklin laugh. He pushed a secret button in the flower. Instead of making Mr. Franklin laugh, it started a fire. Oh no, Freddy said. We need a fire truck. Put out the flame. <laughs> I'll be your friend, said the frog. The end. F. What words that begin with F did you hear in that story? Here's a story about the letter G. You make uppercase G like this. Make a big curve to here. Then a line to here. You make a lowercase g like this. Make a circle first, and then a line down that ends with a curve. Some things what begin with g are gorilla, goose, golf ball. Okay, here's our story. Gays the gorilla lived in a tree. One day, he saw something fly by his tree. It was a golf ball, and then another golf ball, and then another. Hmm, I have to do something with these golf balls, they thought. Each time a golf ball would go by, Dave would grab it and glue it to his tree. Gary the goose waddled to the tree. Excuse me, I was playing golf, and it all my golf balls this way. Have you seen them? Gary said. Just then, Gary saw the golf balls on the tree and gasped. Hey, I want those back. Gates the gorilla wanted to make him happy, so he said, Okay, I'll give you golf balls. He pulled and pulled, but the golf balls were glued up too tight. He couldn't do it. Oh no! Gary the goose said, I have an idea. Flew up into a tree so the golf club could get a huge swing at the golf ball and it flew off super duper far. He did that over and over again till he had all the golf balls. Then he asked the gorilla to play golf with him. The end. G. What G words did you hear in the story? This is a story about the letter H. To make uppercase H, you start here. You make one line down, then you go a little bit farther to the other side on the top and make another line down. Then you go back to the other side in the middle and make a straight line across. To make lowercase h, you start here. You make one line down, then you go to the middle, and then you make a curve all the way down. Some things that start with H are... Horse.
horse. <laughs> ha! Hippopotamus. <laughs> okay, now here's our story. Once upon a time, there lived a horse named Hindi. The horse was huge. Her friend Hickey the hippopotamus was sad. <laughs> and Hindi said, what can I do to make you happy? First, she tried flipping her hair really fast, but that didn't work. Then she tried giving Hickey some hot dogs, her favorite. But Hickey wasn't in the mood for hot dogs. And Hickey said, do you know any jokes? That might work. But Hindi didn't know any jokes. Hmm. So she went looking for something to tell Hickey. As she was walking past the hat store, she heard all sorts of funny jokes inside. And inside the hat store, she saw her friend, Hallie the horse. Hindi asked, what are all these jokes I'm hearing? Hallie said, here, it's this hilarious hat. Hindi tried on the hilarious hat and the hat said, where do horses live? In neighborhoods. Hallie started laughing, ha 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 ha. So Hindi bought the hilarious hat and went straight to Hickey, the hippopotamus's house. Hickey was still sad, but then Hindi put on the hilarious hat and Hickey heard the hilarious hat's jokes and started laughing. Ha 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 ha. Hickey the hippo said, thank you so much Hindi for bringing this hilarious hat. And everyone was really, really happy. Now that Hickey was happy, Hickey and Hindi went next door to the ice cream shop, where they had ice cream that was hay and honey flavored. The end. H. What H words did you find in the story? Here's a story about things that start with the letter I. To make an uppercase I, you draw a line here, a line here, and a line here. To make a lowercase i, you make a line here and a little dot here. Some words that start with the letter i are inchworm, iguana, impala. Okay, now here's our story. One day, Ian the iguana and Isaac the inchworm saw someone itching and itching and itching and itching. Hey, Mr. Deer, are you okay? Ian the iguana asked. Actually, I'm not a deer, I'm an impala. And I think someone put itching powder down my back. Ian the iguana and Isaac the inchworm were on the case. They were investigating who put itching powder down Izzy the impala's back. Itching powder is hard to ignore. They asked Izzy the impala, who do you think put itching powder down your back? Immediately, Izzy responded, I think it was England. <gasps> I had nothing to do with the itching powder incident, she said. I am totally insulted. Just then, an itty bitty mouse showed up and admitted that he put itching powder down Izzy the Impala's back. Ian and Isaac apologized to Ingrid. Ingrid, we didn't mean to insult you. Our theory was incorrect. Luckily, Ingrid forgave them. The itty bitty mouse apologized to Izzy. I didn't mean to put itching powder down your back. Izzy forgave the mouse. Now that the itching powder investigation is over, I think we should all get some ice cream immediately. The end. I. What I words did you find in the story? Here's the story about the letter J. Make an uppercase J by starting at the top and making a straight line down. But before you get to the bottom, make a curve like this. To make a lowercase j, you start about here in the middle. And make a line down in a curve at the bottom. Then you add a dot right on top. Some words that start with j are jellyfish, jaguar, jelly beans. Okay, here's our story. Once upon a time, there lived a jellyfish named Jenny. She loved jelly beans and had a jar full of them. But she couldn't open the jar. Her neighbor, Justine, 
was a jaguar. Love to jog. Do jumping jacks. And juggle. When Justine the jaguar came by, Jenny the jellyfish jumped out of their water and said, Justine, will you please help me open this jar? It's full of jelly beans. I'll share them with you. I'm happy to help. All the jogging and jumping jacks and juggling made me the strongest jaguar in the jungle. So Justine opened the jar. Thank you, said Jenny. I would like to share these jelly beans with you. Thanks, but I don't like jelly beans, said Justine. You don't have to eat them. You can juggle them. Okay, that sounds great, said Justine. So Jenny the jellyfish gave Justine the jaguar enough jelly beans to juggle. Justine would throw one back to Jenny when she jumped out of the water. They were so jolly, jumping and juggling and sharing the jelly beans. The end. Jay! What Jay words did you find in the story? Here's a story about the letter K. To make uppercase K, you make a straight line down like this. Then you make a slanted line here and another slanted line here. To make a lowercase k, you make a straight line down. You make a smaller slanted line right here and another slanted line right here. Some words that start with K are kangaroo, koala, kite. Okay, now here's our story. Once there was a kangaroo named Kevin who loved flying kites more than anything. He loved to fly kites so much, other kangaroos called him king of the kites. One day, Kevin the kangaroo asked his friend King of the Koala to fly kites with him. She said yes and they went outside. They set up their kites and started to run, but there wasn't any wind, so the kites wouldn't fly. There's no wind, Kevin said. What should we do? I guess we're just going to have to wait for the wind, said King of the Koala. I know. While we wait, I'll play my kazoo. And you can practice your karate kicks. Great idea, said Kevin the kangaroo. So Kayla played her kazoo and Kevin karate kicked to the music. Soon all of the kangaroos and koalas and came to see what Kayla and Kevin were doing. They were so impressed by their kazoo and karate kick show that they clapped and cheered and kicked. Suddenly, the cheering made a giant wind. Keep cheering, Kevin yelled. And watch this. Now that, that they had some wind, Kevin and Kayla grabbed their kites and ran and ran until the kites flew high in the air. Kevin did a karate kick while flying his kite. Now the animals clapped even more and the kites flew even higher. I might be the king of the kites, but your cheering was a key to helping me make the kite fly. Thank you for your help. You are all too kind, Kevin said to his kingdom. And thanks most of all to Kayla, who is a whiz on the kazoo. The end. K. What K words did you find in the story? This is a story about the letter L. L is the first letter in my name, Lillian. This is how you make uppercase L. You make a line down like this, and then you make a little line across. This is how you make lowercase L. You make a straight line down. 
Things that begin with L are lion, lollipop, leopard, ladybug. Now, here's our story. There was a little lion named Lauren, and she lived by a log. She was playing tag with Lillian the ladybug. Lillian flew over the log where there were lollipops, and Lauren wanted to follow her, but she couldn't jump over the log. Her legs were too little. Then Lapa the leopard came to help. And Lapa said, even though your legs are little, I can help you make them strong enough so you can leap over the log. Let's practice leaping. First, leap over the leaf next to the log. So Lauren the lion leapt over the leaf. Then Lapa said, now, let's try something bigger. Leap over the lizard. When she leapt over the lizard, Lauren went even higher than before. Your legs are getting stronger. Next, Lapa said, leap over the little llama. So Lauren the lion leapt over the llama. That made her leap so high that she also leapt over the log. All that leaping practice really worked. Thanks, Lapa. Then Lauren got to play tag with Lillian the ladybug. And she got to eat a lemon lollipop. The end. L. What L words did you hear in this story? This is a story I was a letter M. To make uppercase M, draw one straight line down, and another one from the top going down this way, and then up again, and back down. To make lowercase M, you start here and draw a line down, and then you make one hump and another hump, like this. Some things that start with M are a monkey, a moose, and another monkey. Now here's our story. Once upon a time, there was a um, monkey named Mary and her best friend, the moose, Melissa. And they wanted to have a snack called milk. So they tried to find it. And they f didn't know where the milk is. That was a big, big problem. So they couldn't find milk. They tried to find it and then and then the monkey's mom said, follow this map, it will lead you to some milk. So they follow the map, and then they fly down a cloud, and they went all the way to space. Mary the monkey looked at the map, and said, next we have to go to the moon. But how do we get there? I don't think we can make it. And Melissa the moose said, I'm not sure, but here's the mango cake. And I'm so hungry. So they had mango cake on the car. And the mango cake tastes so good that they all got so much energy that they almost hopped over the moon. They really almost did. The moon was magical. It happened to be made out of milk. And then they got a big bottle of milk. And they took a big drink of their milk and they had the rest of the mango cake. Mmm, mmm. The end. M. What M words did you find in the story? Letter N. To make uppercase N, you make a line down and another line down this way. Now a line straight up. To make lowercase N, you start with a shorter line down, then come back up and curve around like this. Some things that start with N are. Mute, nest, and nurse. Okay, now here's our story. Once upon a time, there was a nurse named Nella. One night, Nella the nurse was walking through a narrow park on her way home. She shone her nightlight on her favorite Nella tree and noticed a new nest. Nella the nurse was astonished to see a neon newt napping. She noticed that the newt's neck has a wound. The neon newt suddenly woke up and was surprised to see a human. Then Nella the nurse said, Hi, I'm a nurse and I can take care of you. 
Nella, the nurse, placed him on a napkin to be treated. Afterwards, Nella, the nurse, offered nuggets to the neon youth. After nine days, the wound healed. Then the newt said, Thank you for taking great care of me. You're welcome, answered Nella the nurse. We must celebrate! How about the costume party? Yes, great idea, agreed the neon newt. Can you guess what the costumes were? Ninjas! The end. End! What things that start with N did you find in the story? Here is a story about the letter O. You make uppercase O like this. You start at the top and circle all the way around. You make lowercase O like this. You start at the top and circle all the way around, only it's a lot smaller. Some words that start with O are Ostrich Octopus Opposites Okay, now here's our story. One day, there was an owl named Oscar. He was orange and white with olive eyes. He liked to play with his friends, Oliver the Ostrich and Ozzy the Octopus. One day, they decided to make an opposite obstacle course at the Oval Park. At each obstacle, Oscar said, Whatever I do, you do the opposite. I think I'll observe and eat this orange over here, said Ozzy. So they got to the first obstacle, and Oscar the Owl said, Okay, I go up. Oliver the Ostrich said, I go, hmm, the opposite of up is, down. And they passed the first obstacle. When they got to the next obstacle, Oscar the Owl went over. And since Oliver the Ostrich had to do the opposite, he went under. Finally, they came to the last obstacle. And Oscar said, I'm going to go slow. And he was off. But, oh no! Oliver didn't hear him. So he couldn't figure out the right opposite. Oops. Ozzy the octopus saw that Oliver was stuck. Oscar the owl is going slow. Phew! Thanks, said Oliver. The opposite of slow is fast. And off he went. He caught up to Oscar just as he was crossing the finish line. We finished our opposite obstacle course. Ozzy came oozing over and passed out oranges for everyone. I loved our opposite obstacle course, but it's almost nighttime. So I'm getting sleepy, Oliver said. I'm not. Owls don't sleep at night. We sleep during the day. Hey! Night day, another opposite. The end. O! What O words did you find in that story? Here's a story about the letter P. You draw uppercase P like this. You draw one line down and then a curve at the top. You draw a lowercase p like this. A line down and then the curve at the top. Some things that begin with p are pirate, Arr. princess, parrot. Arr. Okay, here's our story. Once upon a time, there was a pirate named Peter. He had a pet parrot named Peggy. One day, Peter parked his pirate ship in a big palace that was purple and pink. Peter and Peggy were visiting their friend, Princess Penelope, in the palace. Princess Penelope thought Peggy Parrot was the perfect pet. Penelope said, I love your parrot. I wish I had my own pet. And then P 
Peter the pirate said, Bye, I have to go back to my pirate ship. The pirate had a plan. So that night, Peter took his pirate ship and set out to find the perfect pet for Penelope. The pirate goes on a long journey. When he returned to the palace, he presented her with her very own pet penguin. <gasps> Penelope said, Thank you so much for my pet penguin. I'm going to name him Perry. The pirate was so proud that the princess was happy. Penelope was so pleased that she gave Peter and Peggy presents and invited them to stay for a party. <laughs> the end. P. What P words did you find in this story? A story about the letter Q. You make uppercase Q like this. Start with a circle, then make a little line here. You make lowercase Q like this. Make a circle, then a line down, and then a little line that goes up. Some things that start with Q are quill, queen, quilt. Okay, now here's our story. A long, long time ago, there was a queen named Quincy. She loved quilts, but she didn't really want to buy a quilt. She wanted to make one because she was creative. So she went on a long quest to go see Quentin, her friend the porcupine. If she could borrow one of his quills, she could use it as a needle to make her quilt. When she finally got to his house, he wasn't there. Queen Quincy thought and thought. If Quentin was quietly hiding nearby, she could possibly talk him into giving her a quilt. So the queen yelled out, Quentin, I have a quarter for you if you give me one quill. Quentin crept out of his hiding place. He decided he'd like that quarter for a quill because he may want to buy something. Queen Quincy sewed and sewed and sewed with the quill to make a beautiful quilt. But she hadn't forgotten what Quentin gave to her. Even though she got her queenly quilt, she made Quentin his own queenly cozy quilt so he can quietly snuggle in his own quilt. Mmm, so warm and cozy. The end. Q. What Q words did you find in that story? Here's a story about the letter R. You make uppercase R like this. A line here, a curved line here, and another line here. You make lowercase r like this. A line here, and come back up in a small curve around like this. Some words that begin with the letter R are robot, race car, red. Okay, now here's our story. Rosie works at the red robot room at the robot factory. She is responsible for putting the red robots together. Just as Rosie was about to grab a red robot leg out of the box, the race car ran into the box, turning the whole box of robot legs into rubble. Oh no, I can't use any of these red robot legs. Randall from the race car factory had a moat control for the race car. Randall ran to the window. I'm so sorry, Rosie. That race car must not be ready yet. I'll have to fix it. Rat, said Rosie. I really need red legs. She radioed her friend Ralph. Do you have any red robot legs? Ralph replied, I don't have any red robot legs, but I have blue robot legs. That gave Rosie an idea. Rosie raced from room to room, picking up different color robot parts. She grabbed yellow arms, a green body, really long blue legs, and a round orange head. She took her box of parts back to the red room, ripped a piece of tape and wrapped it around the arms to connect it to the body. She took a step back to admire her robot. It was a 
Rainbow Robot. I will call you Robert. Meep, moop, rip, roop. I am Robert the Rainbow Robot. Rosie realized she made something really special. Her new friend Robert. The end. R. What R words did you hear in the story? This is a story about the letter S. To make uppercase S, you start here and make a curve this way, and then a curve back this way. To make lowercase s, make a curve this way, and then a curve back this way. Some words that start with the letter S are snake, seal, spaceship. Now, here's our story. Sally the snake and Stephen the seal are best friends. One day, Sally and Stephen decide to build a spaceship to go visit a distant star. Sally slithers to her woodshop to get spaceship supplies. She scooped up screws and a saw. Stephen skipped to the store to get sandwiches for their trip. They met back up and started making their spaceship. Sally built the ship and painted it sparkly silver. Stephen built seats. Sally tried to use her screws to attach the seats, but the screws didn't fit. They kept slipping. Sally and Stephen didn't know what to do. They needed seats for their spaceship. They called over their friend, Sam the Sloth, to help them out. And then he started slinking over so slowly. While they were waiting for Sam, Sally figured it out. She screamed, I've got it, and speedily slithered back to her woodshop. Oh, silly me, Sally said. I took size seven screws, but I needed size six screws. Sally slithered back with the size six screws and screwed in the seats. The spaceship was ready and zoom, blasted off. Sam the Sloth arrived just in time to say, Why? Stephen steered the ship all the way past the sun to a spectacular star where they ate their scrumptious sandwiches. The end. S. What S words did you hear in this story? Here's a story about things that start with the letter T. To make uppercase T, you do one straight line down like this, and then you start a little bit away from the top and go a straight line across from it. To make lowercase T, start like right here, go down, and in a little bit above the middle, do another line. Some words that start with the letter T are turtle, Hello. turkey, <laughs> tennis racket. Okay, here's our story. One day, Trevor the turtle was playing tennis when his tennis ball broke through his racket. Oh no, he said. Then he went back home to find something to help him fix his racket. First he tries tacos, but that doesn't work. Then he tries tulips, but that doesn't work either. Then he tries tar, but that's just too sticky. And right when he is going to give up, there is tapping on his door. When he opened the door, he saw Teresa the turkey with a brand new tennis racket just for him. At the end. The letter T. What T words do you find in the story? This is a story about the letter U. You make uppercase U like this. Start here, start going down, and then you go around and back up. To make lowercase U, you, you start here, go down, around, up, 
and then back down again like this. Some words that start with you are umbrella, uncle. <laughs> oh. Okay, now here's our story. Umberto was visiting his uncle. <laughs> his uncle had an unbelievable collection of umbrellas. Here, let me show you some of my favorite umbrellas. This one is ultra bright. This one is unusually large. This one lets you go underwater. And this one, this one with the unicorn on it is the ultimate umbrella. Wait until you see what it does. Just then, Umberto and his uncle heard the phone ring. Oh, let me get that. Don't open the ultimate umbrella until I get back, his uncle said. Umberto stood very still in the room with the umbrellas. All of a sudden, Umberto felt something in his nose. Ah, 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 choo! He sneezed so hard, he bumped into the ultra bright umbrella, which knocked into the unusually large umbrella, which bumped into the underwater umbrella, which bumped into the ultimate umbrella with the unicorns on it. It popped open and something made a big rumble sound. It got very dark. Umberto looked up and all of a sudden, it started to rain inside the house. But it was unusual rain. It was a special unicorn glitter rain. Umberto hid under the table. His uncle came back and laughed. Ah, I see you opened the ultimate umbrella. Umberto said, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to open it. I'll try to help clean up all this glittering, his uncle said. We can clean it later. For now, let's take this ultimate umbrella, big thousand outside, and splash in some glitter puddles. The end. You. What you words did you hear in this story? This is story about the letter V. To make an uppercase V, you start at the top and make a sentence line down. Then, you go the other way. To make a lowercase V, make a sentence line down. Then, go the other way. Just like the uppercase V, but smaller. Some words that start with V are violin, violet, and vegetables. Okay, so here's our story. The once was a violinist named Viola from Vermont. One day, she was playing her violin when she got so hungry, Viola got in her van to visit the community garden. She picked lots of vegetables. Then she saw some violets and thought, I would love to look at those violets while I play my violin. So she set down her vegetables I went to pick some violets. Suddenly, a vulture named Victor started to eat her vegetables. Hey, vulture, said Viola. But the vulture didn't hear her. Vulture! Hmm, maybe this would get his attention. And Viola started playing her violin as loud as she could. Victor looked up. Oh, hi. Excuse me, Vulture. Those are my vegetables. Let's share them. So Victor the Vulture and Viola the Violinist ate vegetables together. Victory! The end. V. What V words did you find in the story? The letter W. You make uppercase W like this. Make a slanted line down. Then a slanted line up. Then down. And one more line going up. You make lowercase w the same way, but smaller. 
a line down, a line up, a line down, and then a line up. Three things which start with W are walrus, whale, window. Okay, here's our story. One day, William Walrus was weeping by the ocean. His whiskers were wet with his tears. His best friend, Winfred Whale, was riding the waves when she heard William whispering. What's wrong, William? she asked. I want to see what's on the other side of the wall. But I'm worried if I climb over, I will fall. Maybe I can help you, Winifred whispered. I wonder what is on the other side of that wall. Waffles with whipped cream? Wiggly worms? Or maybe a weird wizard, William added. Okay, what's over this wall? I gotta know, William wailed. Winfred said, I have an idea. What if instead of climbing over the wall, we build the window? So William the walrus and Winfred the whale got to work making a window. When they finally got to look through to the other side of the wall, all they saw was a wacky watermelon. Well, Winfred, we finally know what's on the other side of the wall. Now I think we should play in the waves. And with that, William and Winfred waved goodbye to the wacky watermelon and waddled into the water. The end. W. What W words did you find in that story? Like this. One line here, and another line here. You make lowercase x like this. This time you start here, and make a line like this, and another line like this. Some words that start with X are xylophone, um, x-ray. Hmm, I think we'll need more words for our story. I know, what if we make a story with words that end with X? Like fox, T-Rex, and sandbox. Okay, here's our story with things that end with the letter X. Max the fox was playing in his sandbox, which was his favorite thing to do. He poured some water to mix with the sand. Mix, 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 mix. Now we can make a sand castle. Just when he was finishing the sand castle, he saw a T-Rex, who did not look happy at all. What's wrong, Max the Fox asked. I want to send this box to my friend, but I can't get it to fit in the mailbox. My arms are too tiny. Max was trying to make the T-Rex feel better and think of something he could do to fix the problem. When all of a sudden, Max the Fox and the T-Rex saw the box start moving into the mailbox. It's going into the mailbox! But how? They looked close and they saw six tiny ants carrying the box. Relax! We can get this box into the mailbox for you. We are very strong. The six tiny ants made Max and the T-Rex laugh and laugh and laugh. Thank you, ants, for helping me get the box into the mailbox. Anytime. And they all played Max's sandbox to celebrate. It's party time! The end. 
Words. What words that end with X did you hear in the story? Here's a story about the letter Y. You make an uppercase Y like this. A line here. A line here. And another line here. You make lowercase Y like this. First, a line going down. And then a new line going down. Some things that start with Y are yak, yogurt, yo-yo. Okay, now, here's our story. We laundered a yak was at a yogurt factory, helping us set for tomorrow's yearly yogurt flavor contest. People would share their new yogurt flavors, and Yolanda gets to decide if the flavors are yum or yuck. The winner with the yummiest yogurt flavor gets a brand new yo-yo. The next day at the yogurt factory, Yohan the Yeti, Yasmin the Yorkshire Terrier, and the vet, the yellow mongoose, were ready to present their flavors. But where was Yolanda the Yak? Yikes, said Yasmin. How can we have a yearly yogurt flavor contest without Yolanda? They waited and waited and we're about to go home. When all of a sudden, Yolanda came running into the room, yelling, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm here. Where have you been, Yadmin asked. Yolanda yawned and said, I slept too long. But let's get this year's yogurt contest started. Yolanda presented his yam-flavored yogurt. Yolanda took a big bite. Yum! Yasmin gave Yolanda her yucca flavored yogurt. Yolanda took a big bite. Yummy! And Yvette had a yellow squash flavored yogurt. Yolanda took a big bite. Yum, delicious! These are all so yummy. But I think that. Johan and his yam flavored yogurt was my favorite. Here's it, my special new yo yo. Yippee! yelled Johan as he gave his new yo yo a spin. The end. Why? What why word did you find in that story? Here's a story about the letter Z. You can make uppercase Z like this. A line here, a slanted line down, and then another line on the bottom. You make lowercase Z the same way, but smaller. A line here, a slanted line down, and then a line on the bottom. Some things that start with Z are zebra, zucchini, zeppelin. Okay, now here's our story. Zed the zebra was zigzagging down the road in his zippy car. He was going to pick up his two zebra cousins, Zamara and Zebediah, at the zoo. Zed pulled up to the zoo in his zippy car where his cousins were waiting. Hi, Zed. I can't wait to get to Grandma Zebra's house for her famous zucchini dinner. Zebediah added. I think she's even going to have Zeppelis for dessert. Hmm, mmm. So the zebras all tried to squeeze into Zed's zippy car, but it was too small. It will never fit, said Zamara. The zookeeper was nearby and said, Hey, zebra cousins, are you heading to Grandma Zebra's for dinner? Yeah, but we don't fit in said car. Well, as long as you save me some Zeppelis, you can take the zoo's special Zeppelin. Woohoo! That Zeppelin looks like a balloon, and we get to ride in it. Thanks, Mr. Zookeeper, said Zed. The zookeeper replied, no problem, just use the zipper to get in. So the zebra cousins zealously piled into the zookeeper's zeppelin, and they were on their way. They landed at Grandma Zebra's house, where they all enjoyed her famous zucchini dinner and zeppelis for dessert. The end. Z. What Z words did you find in that story?